In this video, we will show you how to fix BSOD kernel data in page error 0x7a. Consider, you have a large SATA hard disk, for example, one terabyte. When you put your computer to sleep or make it go into hibernation, and then when you try to resume the computer, SATA hard disk drivers require the SATA hard disks to be ready within 10 seconds. In the case of a large SATA hard disk, it may take the computer a little longer than 10 seconds to be ready. Due to this, at times the resume operation times out, and you receive an error and your computer restarts automatically. We'll teach you how to fix this kernel data in-page error 0x7a. Once the system will boot up in normal conditions, download the hotfix for this error from the support site of Microsoft. Once you've clicked on the hotfix download available button, you'll be redirected to another page where you'll have to provide your email address. A link to the hotfix will be emailed to you. Once you've downloaded the hotfix, double click to unzip the file and specify the location where you want the extracted file to be available. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will extract the file to our desktop. Next, double click on the hotfix file in order to open it. As a result, the Windows Update standalone installer will appear on your screen. Click on the Yes button to continue further. Once you're done, the Download and Install Update window will open up and will initialize and install the hotfix. We went to the Microsoft website and downloaded the hotfix for this problem because we cannot install or copy the msahci.sys system file separately. This hotfix will install the updated msahci.sys file on your computer and update the corrupted file. Once the installation is complete, it is recommended to restart your computer so the changes can take effect. In this manner, you can resolve the BSOD kernel data in-page error 0x7a.